Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to talk about making a power drawer for a U.S. General 72 inch tool chest. Before we get started, wife and I went shopping last night. I'm sporting new skivvies so I got that going for me. We also stopped at Harbor Freight and I picked up the Braun LED work light. Um, this is pretty nice. I think I'm going to like this. Well, give it a try today on my power drawer project. So in order to get this outlet powered in the drawer, I figured the best way to do it was with the drag chain. I didn't come up with this idea on my own. Um, big name toolboxes use a similar setup. So it's plastic chain. This one's 10 by 15 millimeter. The wire will run inside the chain. The chain will come into the drawer, actually in this channel. And as the drawer goes in and out, the chain will run in and out of the channel. Unfortunately, I built this channel wrong. Uh, I don't have a brake and I mismeasured it. So I had to build a new one. The good thing about building a new one is I changed the design just a little bit. And this one actually fits a lot better. I got some smoother edges here for the drag chain to run through. Uh, I think it's going to work out better in the long run. I also thought I might want to add this standard computer outlet and cord to the back of the box. I don't know if I have enough clearance for this on the back wall. Uh, we'll investigate that. I do have to cut the power cord on this anyway to get it into the drag chain. I could have bought drag chain which each individual link opens up and you can lay the wire inside. This piece was only $9.99 so we're going to go this route and see what happens. Alright, we're back. Let me bring you up to speed. A lot of these projects are just ideas in my head. Uh, I think about what parts I might need to do them. I gather those parts. And then I actually investigate what is needed. Some parts will get used, some won't. In this case, the only part I'm not going to use is the uh, computer cord. I decided to do the same thing I did with my cable TV and cut the cord. I'm just going to run it through a hole in the back of the toolbox, put a different plug on it, be done with it. Will I be able to pull the drawer out of the slides? Yes. Will I be able to carry the drawer more than five feet away from the toolbox? No. And I don't ever foresee having to do that. If I do, I'll just unscrew the plug that I add to the end of this cord and I can do it that way. Either way, I'm still going to have to unscrew the drag chain from the back of the box to completely remove the drawer. So what I've done is I've riveted one end of the drag chain right here to the top of the channel that I made. I'm going to go freehand here. So I riveted it to the top of the channel right here. You can see the drag chain runs inside that channel right in the middle. You can also see right here where I used a little liquid electrical tape just to protect the wire as it passed through that hole. So there's my power outlet with USB ports. You'll notice I didn't run all the way to the front. If I ever built a tool rack in here, 
I might want this width for building a support. Looks like my Braun work light is about to die. It's been on high for a couple hours. So, I suppose I could have run it on a lower setting. All right, here's how the drag chain is gonna work. That runs nice and smooth in there. I don't see any reason why it's gonna get hung up on anything. No, that's going to work nice. So now I'm going to go and put the drawer in, put a couple screws right here to hold the drag chain to the back of the box. I'll put a half inch hole at this height in the back of the box, run my cord through, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right, I finished up the power drawer. Um, as with all my projects, I just got an end goal in mind. How I get there usually has to stay pretty fluid. Uh, I just change things on the fly as I see fit. I used to have an employer that would say, there's 10 ways to get to Berlin. I don't care how you get there, just get your ass over there. And I'm in Berlin, so let me show you what I got. <coughs> So here's my drag chain, and it's screwed to the back wall of the box. And if we look real close, let me see if I can get in there. You see that the power wire just passes right through the back of the box. I decided to do it that way. It uh, was simple. Do I ever need to take the drawer out? Now I'll have to undo the plug on the back and pull the wire through. All right, so I finished up the power drawer. Let's take a closer look at it. You can see I have uh, my chargers in here, power tools, some flashlights recharging. I really like that I got the USB ports there. Uh, a lot of a lot of rechargeable flashlights now are all set up that way. Uh, there's kind of a mess of cords in there, and I'm all right with that because I don't want that mess up here in my hutch. I, I gotta do some organizing up here. It's already a huge mess, and I didn't want to add to it by adding more wires. I mean. Back there, I got power pack for the computer and the printer and all the associated wiring, USB cable running to the supposedly Bluetooth printer, but that don't work anymore. So that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to put this stuff down here. Keep it in its own drawer. Um, let the mess be hidden away in there. So that's all I got for today. If you got any uh, input, questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, uh, if you stumbled across this video on YouTube, check out my blog at thegreasyshoprag.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Later.